All right, guys. So, I just got my first slate in the mail. I'm still waiting for the other two to come in. Uh, I'm going to have a total of three of these. But this is the LE Power 50 watt floodlight. Um, it's uh says it's got a 120 degree beam. Huh. I guess the video is coming out a little bit too bright, but and eh, what are you gonna do? So, 120 degree beam angle. Um, I did get the 6500K version, and it says plus minus 200K. Whatever. And it says it can take up to 30,000 hours for it to burn out. So it is, it says it's uh, waterproof IP66, low temperature resistant, and it says it has excellent heat dissipation. However, I don't have anything to really test that. Of course, I don't want to, you know, waste the money to test it. But here's the light itself. Nice craftsmanship, I will give it that. It is really nicely made. It's pretty heavy. Um, if you want to know how big this light actually is, this is my hand against it. So, let me get my tape measure real quick. And we'll take some measurements. Just, I just had it. There it is. Alright. Top to bottom, almost 10 inches. Well, with the brackets that's there, the whole, these brackets right here, it's 10 inches by 8 inches and then turn it here on the side about two and a half inches that way so it's definitely not a small light it does have this hanging bracket here um, one thing I am going to say it does not come with the equipment to install it like it doesn't come with the screws or anything like that. Which, you know what, whatever, I can live with. Uh, the cord here has a on-off switch. The cord itself, let me get out my tape here again. Here I am moving it. The cord itself is about four and a half foot. So you'll probably definitely have to use like an extension cord. I'm gonna be using this for my aquarium. So, ooh, these edges here on the glass are a little sharp. So be careful with that. And I did take notice that you can disassemble this. It has screws here that holds in the glass part here so if your glass breaks it looks like you can replace it um, I did have this originally plugged in to an outlet and uh, you could see right here the LEDs in the middle started to glow but I mean they were extremely dim you could tell that they were barely on I switched outlets and it fired right up this thing is super bright um, I already built my overhead canopy that I'm going to be using to install this on my tank. Um, so, as soon as I get the other two in the mail, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison, like the before and after of how it lights up the tank. Um, and then within like a couple weeks, I'll give you another update to see how plant growth is, see if there's any algae blooms, stuff like that. So that's definitely something to look forward to. Um, I've been wanting to test these floodlights for quite some time. I've seen a lot of people having extreme success with it. And I mean, this this unit right here, for a single one, well, right now I'm video 
or recording with my phone. I believe it was like $24, $25 for this light. Um, it wasn't on sale. However, the other two that's coming was a twin pack of these. Same exact thing, only two in the box, and they were only 44 something uh, Both of them came with free shipping, so that's kind of cool. So as soon as the other box comes in, and my tracker says, oh, it's going to be Saturday that it comes in. Well, this said it wasn't supposed to be here until tomorrow, so... And it's here already. Actually, I'm going to state this right now. Amazon Prime, I always thought you were supposed to have faster shipping with Amazon Prime, not just free shipping with some of the things. I thought it was supposed to be like two to three day shipping. But they always estimate it at like a day or two after it actually arrives at my house. So... As you can see, this thing requires fingerprints really quick. So, I'm going to install this one on my canopy that I made right now. And then, uh, once the other two comes in, I'll install those and I'll show you guys the update. Alright, later on guys.